Jane the Virgin, Season 2 Finale, Wedding Day, Season 2, Episode 22, Chapter 44. The season finale of any television show has a lot to handle. But Jane the Virgin follows the general format of a telenovela, and if you've ever seen a telenovela, then you know that a season finale is one for the books. Chapter 44 does not disappoint when it comes to shocking twists. Let's get some of the big ones out of the way. Exo and Rogelio both admit that they still want to be with one another but that neither have changed their stance on children. Shortly after that, Exo realizes that she's pregnant. Inezka injects Petra with something that gives Petra locked in syndrome, allowing Inezka to take over Petra's life. The two biggest questions going into the season 2 finale were 1. Is Jane going to lose her virginity and 2. Is Michael going to die? Well, let's start at the beginning. As expected, Jane's wedding plans aren't going as planned. There are some pluses, Jane and Michael adorably counting down the hours until they get to have sex, Matteo learning to walk just in time to stumble down the aisle, and Michael giving Jane a list, she loves lists of things they should discuss after they get married, but those are outweighed by the minuses. Rogelio finds out that Exo slept with Esteban thanks to the sex basket he delivered her. The ex-couple ends up in an argument that trickles down into Jane's rehearsal dinner. But Alma reassures Jane that there's really no such thing as the perfect wedding by telling the truth about what happened at her wedding. Someone ripped off her veil and revealed that Alma was no longer a virgin, which helps to calm down Jane. To add to the pressure, Jane suddenly decides that it's time to change her thesis because she doesn't want to spend time writing a story that she's no longer passionate about. Unfortunately, Jane can't just talk to her advisor, but has to pitch a new idea, a love story based on her grandparents, in front of a committee, a mere 79 minutes before her own wedding. Jane the Virgin has always been careful about putting Jane's love life, romance obsession on the same level as Jane's education, writing obsession. It doesn't make fun of her for being such a hopeless romantic nor does it force her to choose one or the other. Instead, Jane the Virgin often finds way to combine the two aspects of her personality. In Chapter 44 Jane successfully pitches her new thesis just minutes before putting on her wedding dress in the campus bathroom. In a nice moment, Professor Donaldson helps Jane button up the wedding dress, though she does say, I feel like I'm locking you into the patriarchy, as she does it. Which is a great way to establish a softer side to Jane's advisor without compromising her personality. After a few more mishaps, Rogelio's car breaking down. The two sitting through 17 stops on a bus route, Jane arrives a bit late. From there on out, it's just a waiting game to see what will disrupt the ceremony. The obvious bet would be Raphael confessing his love for Jane. He's clearly itching to tell her and maybe even stop the wedding. As Jane stands outside in her wedding dress holding Matteo, Raphael knows that this might be the right moment. I love you, Jane, Raphael says. I always have and I always will. It's the perfect declaration, but it's a fake out. Raphael realizes that he loves Jane so much that he can't say anything to ruin her perfect day. It's both a nice character moment for Raphael and a worrying sign for Michael's fate. It's hard not to be on edge for the rest of the episode. There's been much speculation about whether or not Michael is going to survive the season and every time the show makes him even more endearing. It makes me think that it's only so his death will hurt us more. Chapter 44 doesn't skimp on these moments, whether it's Michael delivering his vows in Spanish, the most adorable thing ever, killing it on the dance floor and then giving Jane a snow globe that symbolizes the first time they ever kissed. Finally, it's time. The two are just about ready to have sex when Michael goes to the hall to get ice, runs into Susanna, and realizes that she's not who she says she is. She shoots Michael, leaving his fate up in the air, and then pulls off her mask to reveal that she's actually Rose. While the shooting wasn't particularly surprising, Jane the Virgin did manage to shock with the double reveal. Now the only problem is that we have to wait months to find out what happens. But hey, if Jane can wait then I guess we can, too. 